So looking back on your fight with Batebiev, what advice would you give to Bivol to go in against him? This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. Nigga. Just don't let him punch you and, you know, work your ass hard. Run away because it's not a good idea to stay near the ropes against him. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm both. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PTSD and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. We have the most anticipated boxing match going down this weekend. Good Lord willing, man. And Archer Betrabiev versus Dimitri Bivol, man, for light heavyweight dominance the, to establish who will be undisputed in that division, you know? We've had greats from Roy Jones Jr. to Terrence Crawford to Teddy Atlas all chime in on who they think is going to win. Now, we know Dimitri Bivol, right? He has had some great opponents, you know, most notably probably Jean Pascal, or Jean Pascal, yeah. uh, Gilberto Ramirez, a.k.a. Zerto. Yeah. And, you know, he beat Old Cinnamon, you know, Canelo Alvarez. And better Biev is no slouch either. You know, his, his opponents range from, you know, um, Anthony Yard to Tavares Thundercloud all the way to my guy Alexander Vazic who we last saw fight David Benavidez at the light heavyweight division and I will focus on the latter man because the latter and Alexander Vazic he was asked who he thought he would win and he chimed in in regards to his former adversary's next match against Dimitri Bivol check this out just don't let him punch you and you know work your ass hard no did he run away because it's not a good idea to stay near the ropes against him. And, you know, he mostly went with um, Archer Better B of saying that, hey, man, that pressure that he puts on is crazy. You know, it's accumulation of punches and he's not too weak in the boxing department. He said that his his skills and, and, as being a boxer is very underrated, which I agree. You know, and uh, Alexander Vazic also said that you have to keep your engine on high revs, you know, um, basically meaning that you have to keep that going. You have to have major endurance, major stamina, and you're gonna have to move around a lot, you know? And I think that Alexander Vazic, it was a great interview on the round eight boxing. Go check it out if you haven't done so already. Very informative, man. I, I liked it a lot, um, you know, but I was thinking about what he said. And I think he has a great point, but also Alexander Vazic, he, before he lost to better BF or while he was losing to better BF, he was actually winning a lot of the rounds. You know, he, he lost, I believe it was a 10th round stoppage and to which up until that point, he was winning on two of the judges scorecards, right? He was winning on two of the judges scorecards before he got stopped. And the reason why I highlight that is because, you know, the general consensus consensus around the boxing landscape is that Bivol is the better boxer, even if it's slight, you know, and, 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 and better Biev is the more heavier handed guy, AKA he's the bigger puncher, right? Um, even though his boxing skills are underrated and we all think primarily that in order for better BF to win, sorry, for Bivol to win, he's going to have to outbox better BF, which is easier said than done. He's going to have to stay off those ropes. Like Vazic said, you know, um, and Vazic said he doesn't believe Bivol is going to be able to do it. Now, I, I don't know who's going to win. I think this fight is 50-50 on paper. I think it's going to be one-sided when they actually get in the ring. I just don't know <laughs> who is going to favor. You know, I don't know if it's going to favor Better BF or Bivol. Some days I pick Bivol, some days I pick Better BF. But I do want to comment on his, uh, his um, what he thinks is going to happen. You know, he thinks that Better BF is going to wear him down and that Bivol or nobody is able to outbox him like that. Well, I will say this. The reason why I highlighted Vazdik winning on the on two of the judges scorecards, the majority of the judges scorecards up until he got knocked out was that how did how was Vazdik winning? Vazdik was outboxing Beterbiev, right? But Vazdik is bigger, significantly bigger than Bivol, right? He's taller. Um he's he's he's, he's rangier too, you know. Um but but B Bivol has a decent range, but B B uh Vazdik was using his jab. You know, even better, Benavidez was like, man, I might have to take away his jab. And he was successful at doing that. But Vazic was using his jab. He's good at, uh, you know, controlling distance and manipulating the range or, you know, and I think that he was very successful at doing that up until he wasn't. Now, what is Bivol? As, gr as good of a boxer Vazic is, which I think he's very good, you know, Bivol is considered a much better boxer. Is he though? And he's smaller. And this, in my opinion, is going to lean towards Bivol, you know, his favor because the fact that he's small is like, okay, he'll be easier. He's easier to bully by the bigger, better BF. Um, but I think that he'll be more agile. This will help with his agility. This will help with uh, his, his, his footwork, his ability to get in and out. You know, and he's also very good at 
controlling the range and manipulating the distance too with his movement and being able to outbox somebody and get in and out. Now, like I said, I will reemphasize, I don't know who's going to win and I feel ashamed because I should pick a side, but I really don't know. Some days I feel like it's better BF, some days I feel like it's Bivol, you know, I go back and forth, go back and forth, but I definitely see a path to victory and the fact that Vazdik was pretty successful, at least on two of the judges' scorecards up until the 10th round, that leads me to believe that Bivol could potentially be successful as well. However, also, I could, you know, I think just like most, you know, we could see better Biev, you know, being able to cut off the ring, which he's very good at, and being able to cut off and starch Bivol and get in that exchange. And when you get into an exchange, he's a dynamic, he's a dynamite puncher, you know. He may not have as much one-punch power as uh, Adonis Stevenson, Superman Stevenson did, who Vazdik beat and dethroned, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Adonis Stevenson, man, uh, the Haitian-born Canadian who was uh, suffering from chronic brain damage. We wish him the best, you know. Uh, but Adonis Stevenson, which Vazdik got into, he's like, yeah, I mean, he, he's probably stronger, one-punch power, but better be if his, he throws more combinations and accumulation of punches and all his punches are hard so i think that bivol has his hands full i think Beterbiev has his hand full like i said i do think what you go into the once the fight actually happens i don't know who's gonna favor man i think it's gonna be more one-sided than we anticipate i just don't know on behalf of who but i definitely think that bivol can uh keep his engine at high revs i think that bivol uh, can outbox and i think bivol could be potentially successful at maybe starching and outboxing but better bf but, you know, when you're in there with a puncher, man, you you have to be good for 36 minutes. You know what I'm saying? But Terbiev just has to be good for a few seconds. You know what I'm talking about? So we'll see how it goes. But I think it's a great fight. It's a testament to how good it is. You know, Roy Jones says 60-40 Bivol. Uh, Benavidez is lean, leaning towards Bivol. Vazdik is leaning towards Beterbiev And some others. You know, I'm not going to go through all the predictions. I think they're all great. I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all come to the live stream. We're going to discuss it. I'm going to break it down and all that stuff. But, you know, which I have been doing. I just don't know who's going to win. Man, I think it's a great fight. And it's, it's going to be the fight of the year, man, for sure, man, in my personal opinion. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Do you agree with Vazdik? Do you think Better Bev is going to win do you agree with uh, uh roy jones and others that bivol is going to win do you think it's 50 50 do you think someone's going to get slaughtered do you you know let me know what you feel about that in the comments man i appreciate y'all rocking with me as always remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets